For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem where we have a 500 pound force uh, and they want you to find the moment about point O. So the first thing you want to do is find the x and y components of this force. You know that the angle is also 45 degrees so the magnitude of the component along the x-axis comes up to be 500 cosine of 45. The magnitude of the component around the y is 500 sine of 45 cosine of 45 and side of 45 are the same so they both come out to be 353.6 newtons now that you have the force what you need is to draw the, le the lever arms this is the first lever arm that is being pulled by this force and this is the second lever arm that is being pulled by this force. Now that you have the lever arms, what you need to do is calculate the lengths of the lever arms. Now you know that the radius of this almost half circle is 3 meters, therefore from here to here we have 3 meters and from here to here we also have 3 meters. Therefore, from here to here, we have 3 meters cosine of 45. So 3 meters plus 3 meters cosine of 45 will be give you this lever arm, which comes out to be 5.12 meters. Now the length of this lever arm is calculated here. It's the same as the length of this lever arm right here, which is given by 3 sine of 45 which comes out to be 2.12 meters now that we have the lever arms and the components of the force we can calculate the sum of the moments around O going counterclockwise is positive so the force these two forces are the same 353.6 newtons and this one's 353.6 newtons so this one going up is affecting this lever arm and it's making it go counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is positive, so it's positive. 353.6 newtons times the length of the lever arm, which comes out to be 5.12 meters. The second force is making this lever arm go clockwise and clockwise is negative. So it's 353.6 newtons times the length of the lever arm, which is 2.12 meters. When you plug this into your calculator, you get that this is equal to 1060.8 newton meters going positive, which means it's going counterclockwise. And this is also known as 1.0608 kilonewtons per meter final answer and remember this is going counterclockwise because counterclockwise is positive please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you